guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms, and in today's video, I am giving you a thrift haul. Normally, I do this out of the back of my truck, and honestly, it is a downpouring here in Wisconsin. And yes, we definitely need the rain. Unfortunately, it just puts a little damper on a lot of my projects including doing a thrift haul out of my back end of my truck and painting and all kinds of other stuff but we have been very dry here so i am very thankful for rain as well so today i did go thrifting i found some really great stuff um first and foremost i am going to show you what i did my reel on i am not entirely sure exactly if these are military grade or not I will be looking into them a little bit further. There is a name. It looks like these were on um, the Goodwill site. So it has a name on here. So I'll definitely be looking them up. But honestly, I still think it was a great find because I think they'll look really cool in like um, holiday display. And I'm debating whether or not to cut these black straps off and just use them more as like a decor piece. So in the comments, you guys let me know what I should do. Should I cut the black straps off and decorate them all up? Um, they are metal, so they're not wood. Um, and the ones that I did see that were white, just like this with, with no straps, it did say that they were a military grade and they ran from like 100 on up. So my second best find, I still haven't done a lot of research on a lot of this yet, but is this little wood leg shoe. I guess when I looked it up, it was a shoe, wood shoe form is what they said and it was going for roughly $150. So I I saw him and I was like, he's so darn cute. I tossed him in my cart and I for completely forgot about him until I pulled it out and then I'm like, oh, let me Google what's on the bottom. And there's the exact same version right now going for 150. So um, I just think he's so fun. I don't even think I'm going to get rid of him because he's so unique. I say he. It's a he, you guys, but I, I think very unique. Um, maybe. We'll see what I end up doing with him. I do say that a lot. Maybe. We'll see. I want him. I want a lot of stuff. I can't keep a lot of stuff. If you saw my reel from last week, I did get... Um, an actual storage unit. I am going to be putting shelving in it. A lot of people messaged me saying, get shelving in there right away. And yes, I am going to do that. My initial thought though for the unit was I'm going to put all my finished projects and product for Cranberry Fest, which takes up a ton of room in my garage the way it is like a hundred right now like if you think about it I'm making a hundred trees I'm gonna be making stars I have my barn quilts I have those I have like all these other thrifted upcycled pieces that I'm going to be pricing and I have to package um, my flannels my display pieces so I want to try to gather everything together so the morning that I load for cranberry fast all I have to do is pull that trailer up and everything will be in my storage unit. Okay, in my mind, that's how it's gonna work. I don't know if that's really how it's gonna work um, the day of. <laughs> I have a lot of balls juggling, guys, a lot of balls. Okay. These really cute doilies, <sighs> they dropped into a puddle, so they're wet, so I did find those. Um, so I'm gonna have those dry. But I walked right up to one of the carts and I saw this little guy and I looked and it said McCoy. And then I walked up to the other cart and there was this really cool platter. And I'm like, I don't know. And I just passed it by. I did look at the mark. There was a mark on the bottom. So I'm at home looking over this and I'm like, oh gosh, this, this is McCoy. I'm keeping it because I love all things McCoy. And then I look at the, it said McCoy. And then I looked at the signature and I'm like, oh, that is a McCoy platter. I'm going back. I'm going back. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I get it. 
um, but I do need to tape this first, edit it and upload it to get it out to you. And then I'm going to head back and hopefully maybe if it's not there, it was not meant to be. I did find these are, I'll actually show you, there was a couple things in the same bin. Anyways, anyways, this one says Jacob Best Premium Light Beers. And then this one says Paps Blue Ribbon. Grab those. These are like little serving, um platters. I thought these were kind of fun. This one was old style. And then this one is uh, Schultz light. So I thought that would be kind of fun in a display of some sort. I don't even, I might've been totally ripped off, but I, these I thought were just really fun. I'm not sure. I'm not going to upcycle them. I think I'm just going to put it all, wash it all up really good and put it in a display and let it be that way. So last time when I ended up finding some really cool plastic, was it like bowls? And these are all, oh, you guys. So each of these, and I have no idea where they're from, each bowl is got a price tag of $11.99 on them. And then these little bowls have a price tag of $9.99. So last time I found like a set of this, like something very similar, um, but they were more a different color. I was able to sell them for quite a bit. Uh, so long story short, I ended up getting all of these. This does not weigh that much, but the original price it said they had 20 on here. Oh no, 15. Oh no, was it 20? And then they changed it to 10 for the set of eight. And then I just grabbed all of them. So a croquet, all the balls. I found these. I think these are so fun looking and then the, all the balls in here um so it didn't have the mallets but I did find a couple mallets a couple times ago so I'm going to try to see what I can all piece together and make like some sort of set I think the wood croquet um sets typically have like a holder and you put all the balls and the mallets and all that stuff in it that I did not find just a box of all that stuff so I just thought it would be kind of fun maybe even display the balls a different way or do something fun with it. How much I love frames. I scored so big today on frames. I found this one and I do have a project that I want to do with all these frames. So I am hoping, I have a lot of projects though going on right now for Cranberry Fest, but these are some signs that I want to make in these um, frames. And so anytime I've been seeing like really cool, unique frames that have a lot of detail and like this one is so cool. Um, I'm grabbing them. I like the shape of this one. It's like not perfectly square, more like elongated. And then this one is absolutely huge. It doesn't look like it. The cardboard is bent. But it does say that it is Linda Baker Shadows Still Life, and it is a limited edition. Um, it's numbered, and I think she hand signed it, and she also embossed it. Uh, I don't know. I honestly, it says that this is 23 out of 450. It is just so cool, you guys. Um, oh, my ring light is leaving a little glow, but it is basically flowers. It's just so neat. So I thought I have to rescue that. Now, I believe these are from a TV tray or a TV trays or something like that. But I loved the turquoise. And I'm thinking I can do something really fun with them. I found three of them. Normally they should have been in a set of four, but I found three. So the turquoise is what's caught my eye. They looked real vintage looking and I fell in love with them. Uh, so I, um, the, like the serving trays, uh, the handles for a beer, um, whatever that's called, tap tapper. Um, I also found this, it says beer cans limited and inside it has, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm not used to doing it out here. It has every single beer can in here, you guys, every single year. So I thought that was really, 
interesting. Um, very collectible, I would think, for some a beer lover. Uh, my husband loves beer, but we don't collect beer cans or anything like that. But it looks like this was from 1976. So this is everything prior to 1976, I'm assuming. Found this platter and I loved all the detail. I ended up grabbing that. I have some ideas of what I'm going to do with the different platters like that um, for, to, um, for a display at Cranberry Fest. And it's a wood round. These are ones that you can find at um, the Heart, the uh, Home Depot. And it did have, somebody stenciled on here a fall leaf and it said hello. And it did have some greenery on it. I pulled the greenery off, but these bad boys go for like 10 bucks a piece. So they used to be so inexpensive, but with the cost of wood going up, I'm like, I am grabbing that. And I found this bag. This is gonna go on one of my mannequins here in Wisconsin. Camouflage is very big and this bag is in really great condition. Um, and it will look really good on my mannequin. I also found, I don't know if this is collectible or if there's a part missing, but uh, just from doing antique acres, I do know that, um, People do collect like thing Pepsi and Coca-Cola items. So I grabbed him. I thought he was super cute. Old um, utensils. I found this one. He's a bit rusty. I thought he would be super cute in something. This is like so super cute. I grabbed it and I'm like, oh, I'm just like anything that looks cool when a bin first comes out, I just grab like crazy. And I found this and it says North Pole Watch Company, official watchmakers to the Claus family since 1889. And um, it has on here like Japan, China, Asia, Africa, North Pole, Hawaii, Russia, Alaska, America, South America. So it's got all of those. I thought that was really fun this little like this picture and oh, guys the green caught my eye I think he is just adorable it does say Lake and Heath England 2005 that's what there's like somebody wrote that on a tag on the bottom it says Queen's Green Solian Wear something pottery and then England but it doesn't say anything about Lake Lake and Heath England so I loved it though I think it'll look really cool in a display this is an old stein and it says original mold year 1884 and then it does have Germany on the bottom and it's in really good condition I don't know what is in here. More stuff in there that probably, but yes, I, that one is very, very cool. All or out of my second cart, I did find these. I did find some of these. I love the little hobnail or I think that's what you call it. I just love that look. And I found a couple other pieces. So I'm going to display all of them together. I think they'll look super duper cute. And the last few times that I found raised little containers like this, I paint them, distress them back to make the um, all that beautiful detail pop out. I always sell them. I always put a price tag on everything. So they start off being my uh, business card holder and then they end up being sold. It's a belt of some sort. I ended up finding it because of all these different really cool pieces and I love working with jewelry and taking little pieces off and making fun things. You know, in all my free time, um, I haven't had a lot of time to make jewelry or do that stuff, but I always am on the lookout and just like um, with the jewelry, I'm always looking for leather belts as well and I have a lot of them. So I probably should be making um, a bunch of cuffs with those because you can make the best cuffs with really good vintage leather belts. 
So I found two of those. Is this not the cutest? He is a little um, damaged on the top, but I loved the little legs. And I just, I think for a little riser and I can do something to the top, he, he'll be super duper cute. Yes. So it looks like it is a vintage popcorn popper. So can you guys tell me, is that legit a vintage popcorn popper? That's what it's saying it is. And I'm going to put him, probably decorate him up. Looks like he had something on him already. And it is all textured wallpaper. And last year I ended up buying a bunch of faux tin tiles from the dollar store. And this remind this actually, if you look, has like that full tin tile look here. It has, oh, they have all different ones actually. And I thought that would be so cool to work and play around with on uh, upcoming upcycle. I, this had to have been like maybe, I don't know, a dollar. So tonight on my live, I was actually gonna go into my stash, pull something out, and we were gonna upcycle it on my live. And I was like, oh, I don't wanna go outside. Even though I had to bring this all in here in my shipping area, I'm like, I don't wanna go out there and try to figure something out. And when I saw this laying in one of the bins, I'm like, let's upcycle this purse. Is this not the cutest? I loved the little handle on it. Gosh, it says Dover, made in the USA, but super cute. And I thought, why don't we paint it up? We'll do something fun with it and we will upcycle it. And I will probably be bringing it to Ben Cranberry Fest. Uh, I'm sure somebody will think it is super cool, just like I do. And never pass up. I mean, I should just be hitting myself over the head with these. I buy them every time I see them. I have a slight obsession. No matter what, I'm always buying rolling pins to upcycle. He's a little hanger. I thought he was cute. I mean, I'm trying to, you guys, I'm trying to get in the mood for fall and here I'm buying Christmas stuff, but I thought he was super cute. Um, I thought adding him to a wreath would be really fun. This horseshoe, I'm gonna take the rest of, I think this is some kind of like sun catcher. And I don't know, I'm sure somebody did, I don't know, this is, well, it's like a cobweb in the middle. It's a sun catcher. I, w I actually bought it for the horseshoe. Should I leave it as is or should I take it apart? I mean, somebody put a lot of effort making that little cobweb and I believe that is supposed to be a spider. So, you guys in the comments tell me if I should keep it as is or if I should get like upcycle it um, and do something completely different. In all these doilies, I'm going to have them available. I also saw somebody make pumpkins with these. So I thought that would be kind of fun too. Baskets. And anytime I find cute little baskets, I'm always uh, gonna grab them. These are like little strawberry baskets. Those are so cute. This is another one and somebody actually painted on the side already. This one has a handle, these do not. And inside there's another bigger doily in here. I found this really cute wood candle riser. Thought that was in really good condition. I love these little vintage juicers, uh, even though now I just noticed a couple of them were <laughs> the juicy part, the juicy part, the juicer part, is, um, a couple of them are broke off, but I think that just adds to the character of it. It's a holiday one, and this one looks like it was originally $7. I don't know where, but I thought, wow, for the holidays, I like that. It already has it on there. This is another cute little thing. I thought I could display some pumpkins in it. I can paint it up. I love all baskets, all things basket related. I am slightly obsessed with. This was in there and nobody was looking at it and nobody even cared because it just had some cats on it and they probably never even thought to look inside until I did. And 
I found all vintage, oh my gosh, are these glued together? Good Lord. All vintage blacks. The whole thing are little vintage blacks. And last year I took all the little vintage blacks and I ended up um, using them and putting little trees in all the blacks. There are a couple of these in here as well. I thought those were super cute along with these. Again, great bases, I think, too, for the blacks. But the whole entire thing is just full of blacks. I ended up walking down the aisle and I saw these and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Well, they have all little tiny campers, you guys, on each one. There's a different image and they're, they are plastic and they look like little, you know, like paper plates. One of my Pinterest evening scrolls, I remember seeing something where somebody upcycled something or did something and they had one of these and something was, oh gosh, something was hanging from it. A wear uh, container. And you guys, I love enamel wear and I just found a round one like this with the same type of green. So that is going to look great together. My friend Kristen, and uh, she taught the membership group all about mixed media about a year ago. And since then, I have been slightly obsessed with finding different patterns for backgrounds and different things because mixed media does not only have to be on like just like a paper project, you can do mixed media on virtually anything. So any of your upcycles on your furniture, on your small pieces. And I love how uh, IOD has um, like the background kindest regards. I use that for a background. I use the Le Courier, um, and I'm hoping that eventually they will be adding more items like that to their line because backgrounds are so fun. I ended up finding this one and I'm wondering, it doesn't say what this is. Oh, it does. It's Stampin' Up! because I was wondering now if it was Stampin' Up! And it is, and I liked the pattern on it. It's very cool. So um, I'm not a huge fan of not being, a, these wood blocks, they're really hard to stamp with. That's the nice thing too about IOD and having that thin mount, you can lay it down and you can rub all over and really make sure you get a nice even pressure and good clean image where with the rubber stamps, it's a little bit harder. So you lay it down and you're like pressing and you're hoping that you get pressure down, but no matter what, you always pull it up and there's one spot that you didn't get. So, you guys, I love, 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 love turquoise. And this handle caught my eye. I believe this is a, okay, so I am not a huge baker by any means, but I think you put flour in here and I think that's what it is. So, um, a, oh, a flour sifter and it looks like, oh yeah, look at that. It does say a Foley five cup sifter, you guys. But I saw the turquoise and I loved it. Robbed this. I, last year I ended up finding a bunch of this type of mold and these sold right away for me. For a while, these were like really big. Um, I believe these are all like little Scrabble pieces. So I thought, I wonder if I can piece it together and maybe get like, if I could find family out of here. I didn't actually even look to see if there was an F or any, you know, what the letters were, but as I'm, I see an A, but I wanted one that said, you know, maybe family. And then I was gonna put it on here, but I don't, oh, wait. Oh no, it's an E. So my daughter's birthday is coming up on September 22nd. She'll be 16. And you guys, I'm like, oh, happy birthday to you. And I open it up and it's a little crown. I'm like, oh, I'm grabbing it. Okay, I didn't even look at the crown. <laughs> Probably should have looked at it. Uh, it's for when she's 21. So I don't, that's not gonna work. This caught my eye because it's old and it probably belonged to some kind of grinder. Uh, it, 
I don't even know why I grabbed it, but I thought it was so cool looking and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. Probably a waste, but I really liked it. And it can be even like a shelf sitter, like in a kitchen, I think it would be kind of fun. I also found this, it's a Wagner wear, it's Wagner wear. And I think it's like an ice scoop. So that I thought was really fun too. I thought was so fun and I'm on the phone with my mom and I'm like, oh, I don't know why. You guys, I love green and this caught my eye and I had to have it. And it reminds me of enamel wear. I think it might be enamel wear. I'm not really entirely sure, but I believe it's some kind of pot. Guys, this is like the coolest thing, I think. So tell me if you end up knowing what this is. Obviously, like if you've seen something like this before. I I like it so much. I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> I have no idea what I will do with it. But I love the color. I love the green. I like how it looks like enamel wear. I love how it looks old and abused. It just it's very very cool and honestly i actually thought the handles were black but here's the funny thing i'm just looking now in this light they're blue so the actually it was used that much that it's actually so the handles are blue one only one book today I thought it would be a really fun upcycle so it looks like it was six dollars regularly at a rummage it was 50 cents when I was there in the bins, there were these little um, flowers that had popped off of here. What I envision for this is I'm going to sand that down because there's a little bit of a raised paint. I'm going to paint this all. I'm going to put some type of decoupage paper or mold or something in each of these. Distress it. Um, there's a lot of really beautiful detail on it and I'm going to then resell it or, up, you know, by upcycling it. I think it's very cool. This is a really beautiful fall throw. And this is from, there was a tag on it, Threshold. So it's Target. It's a Target brand. And that I am going to put at Cranberry Fest too. So I'm envisioning, like I'm starting to like feel like what my color theme. I always have a display right in front. I'm feeling like these types of colors possibly. I'm very obsessed lately. I typically love bright colors, you guys, but the faded burlap has really caught my eye. And that summer crush, oh my gosh, those colors, they just, I love them. I'm just really liking those for fall. Then, and I also, found these old vintage knobs. So I wanted to grab those out of there. Uh, this is, it says Homey Cozy. It is a down pillow. It does have a little tear on it, but I'm gonna take the cover off and I am going to recover it because down pillows are like amazing. Another down pillow I got was this one and I'm probably gonna unzip it and do the exact same thing. But uh, this one says love lives here. I'm finding all those balls, those um, softballs or baseballs. I'm going to add that one to my collection. Um, I was actually thinking of doing a couple different things. Um, somebody asked, how are you going to upcycle these? And one of my thoughts were I was going to chop them in half and I was going to make a sign with them along with those baseball bats that I found. And I have quite a few. And then... I got nervous because I'm like, I've never cut a uh, baseball in half. I don't even know what's in it. What if I cut one in half and then it just like all falls apart? So I think I'm just going to sell them at like in a, and just have like a, a basket full of them or a bucket and have them in there. I think they, it's a kind of like a statement piece having them all together. So we'll see what I decide eventually, but that's where my whole vision is at this point. The old, um cast iron uh, pan. I liked the handle and I liked the holder. So I thought that was really fun. Uh, I think it'd be really awesome to have something on here, like whether it would be a transfer 
or a piece of decoupage paper and then have it hanging on a wall in the kitchen. The other thing, I have it still here because I was going to actually do it and I never got a chance, um, like another pot. I think having like three of them or something together was a kind of fun. This I did not get today. I actually had this up in here because I was going to be working on a project and I almost, that was going to be part of one of them, but it didn't. Stuff up and when it's really, really tiny and it ends up at the bottom of my cart or stuck in something, I forget about it. So here's this little rocking horse and it has a crystal um, and it does, I was been trying to see what the writing says on the bottom and I cannot see it, but I probably should not have bought that. I, th I think what caught my eye and I was going to look to see the bottom and then new bins came out and then I got distracted and I forgot about going back into my cart and checking on that. I find fur, like anything fur, I always grab it. And then this is kind of like a throw like a fur that you throw over yourself to keep warm. I just think these are so beautiful, you guys. So I I can I always feel bad when they're there because they're gonna just get passed up. There's do not doubt my ability to find things out. I should have it say do not doubt my ability to thrift things or something like that. But anyway, um, this looks like it's kind of peeling. I think I'm going to sand it down and do a different sign on here. This, and right away, I'm like, I need this because when I am um, first starting my barn quilts and when I, I lay, I have rulers, but this is really nice because there's a flat edge here. So on my barn quilt, I can put that right there on the one edge and I know then this is straight so I'm gonna I, I think this will be perfect there, there's not an actual ruler on here but as a straight edge I really like it so I thought that would be perfect for that that will be going into my studio where I do all my barn quilt making something back from the online and a lot of it did not sell the reason I bought these was for the frames. Um, I also thought even the mats I could do something different to if I want if I wanted to, but it has really good glass, it has a very good back, it's got a nice hanger, and I'm going to upcycle the whole thing. And then I found these two briefcases, and you guys, they are so cool. They're real leather, they have a little lock. They open, uh oh, oh gosh, now that, oh, I'm like, now it won't open, oh my lord, the insides are so cool, oh, they're, it just is really, really neat, um, really, really cool, and I just want to see, oh yeah, that goes like that, so both of them were owned by the same individual. And the reason I know that is because he has the same password, or same password, the same, well, that's kind of, I wonder, anyways, yeah, he has the same code on all, um, on th this one, um, the code is the same as on here, plus he has his initials engraved, JWC. And I have to show you the inside of this one too because both of them are so cool. I am not doing a darn thing to these. I'm just going to bring them and sell as is. I'm gonna look out for pumpkins to upcycle. I ended up finding that one. I also found this tiny little, um, like it was like a half box of some sort. Okay, so somebody taped it. I don't know why. But, yeah, there's nothing in here. It's just cardboard. I thought it would be really fun to do an upcycle, though, with that as well. Because I ended up finding these Vera Bradley um, totes. And I don't know if they're for, like, a makeup bag or if they are, um, 
I think they might be makeup bags or possibly um, a bag for lunch, but I'm gonna throw them in the washer, wash them up and have them available. This They're reminded me of like a shadow box and that's how I am going to do that. So I don't know if it's a shadow box or if it's a base. I'm not entirely sure, but I thought this was really fun. I am going to do something very cool with that too. So that's my haul. <laughs> lots and lots of stuff, you guys. And I'm very excited to get um, some of it upcycled. I'm excited to sell some of it as is. Um, and some of it will stay with me like my little foot. Um, Friday's video, I am doing a thrift to treasure. I am going to start working on it tomorrow. I was away all weekend long up at the cabin and I wanted to do one today, but I was exhausted. I was feeling really spent after a very busy weekend up there and I just needed a good day of thrifting and um, that's what I did. I found a lot of great stuff. I hope you guys thought so too. I can't wait to hear what your favorite item is um and what you guys think of my snowshoes what i should do with them you guys let me know but we will see you either uh tonight on my live when i do upcycle the purse wherever i set it if i can find it um where i upcycle the purse tonight on my live otherwise i will be live on wednesday and then back with you guys on friday for a thrift to treasure we'll see you then and have yourselves a great day bye